Hey, I'm Dr. Josh Axe and welcome to Transformation TV. This week I'm going to be talking about healthy lunch ideas and it's a question I get all the time and it's really hard today, society's made it hard to eat healthy out and specifically for kids uh, you know, going to school today, maybe you're a person that works a lot and you really just find it pretty hard to get a good healthy lunch. And so what I'm going to do is go over the top 10 tips for finding a good school lunch. Now the first thing I want to talk about though is what not to do for school lunches for you and for your kids. Number one worst thing you could do for lunch is buy a Lunchable. Now I know this seems like the most convenient easy thing you can do and it may be but this stuff is horrible and if you really want to eat healthy you've got to learn how to read food labels and so when I look at this right here this Lunchable and this contains crackers, ham, cheese, and then a nice little side of dessert with, uh, with, with chocolate pudding, and then some fruit punch. So it has the word fruit in it, so it must be healthy. <laughs> so let, let me read some of the ingredients here in this Lunchable. All right, number one ingredient, sugar. All right, and then it has natural flavors, which means fake food. It has fat-free chocolate pudding made from skim milk, sugar, modified food starch, and sodium alginate, calcium phosphate, artificial colors, artificial flavorings. Then it has ham with uh, added sodium, added sugar to the ham, like, like, like ham needs sugar, and natural and artificial flavorings. Then we go to the cheese here, part skim milk, and then it has artificial preservatives, and cheese, other cheese cultures. Next thing here are the crackers, it's unbleached flour and soybean oil and sugar and partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil. There is nothing good in this entire meal. It's full of fake foods. You wanna stay completely away from it. And typically, a lot of times we can go out to eat at places like uh, fast food restaurants, or a lot of times we skip lunch, but those are not what you wanna do for lunch. Lunch is a really important meal of the day. Here's the other thing that happens. A lot of times you guys go out to eat during lunch and you end up passing out at your desk because you go into the two o'clock or three o'clock coma. <laughs> because you, you, know, you load it up on the carbs and the breads and all these other things for lunch. And so again, and, and you, you, know that, you know the feeling I'm talking about, you roll around three o'clock and all of a sudden you're face down on the desk or you see your co-workers and everyone's like zombies in the office because you, know, you, you ate the fake food for lunch. Same thing happens with kids today. You know, they get all hyped up on sugar and can cause ADHD or else they can't focus in school because they're eating, again, bad lunch. And so lunch is a very important meal of the day. So here's what you need to do. Here are the top 10 things to do for lunch. Number one, get some sliced organic natural sliced turkey and put it on Ezekiel bread. Okay, Ezekiel is a natural sprouted bread. It's a good option. You wanna use that in other, instead of other bread. So number one, sliced organic sliced turkey on Ezekiel bread. Number two thing you can do is pack a big salad. Okay, salads are great. And again, you can mix it up and do lots of different sorts of salads, like a Greek salad, but do a natural salad. You could add some chicken to it, maybe with some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, but do that for lunch. Another good healthy option is doing something like veggies and hummus. And so you can pack lots of vegetables, whether it's carrots, uh, cucumbers, sliced bell peppers, make your own hummus or you can buy it, but hummus is another great option. Uh, next thing you can do, is chicken salad on a bed of greens. And so I've got tons of chicken salad recipes on our website. You can do curried turkey salad, curried or regular chicken salad with veginase, but again, they're healthy chicken salad recipes. That's another good option. Another good thing you can do is fruit and nuts, okay? So you could actually pack your own trail mix, things like almonds, dark chocolate, raisins, dried apples, uh, you know, you can add some cinnamon and coconut in there. I've got an antioxidant trail mix you can check out. That's another great option. That's number five. Number six thing you can do is you can actually do something like a, a, a stir fry. So like a chicken stir fry, get some chicken, get some vegetables, stir those up together. It's another great thing you can do. And there's also stores you can go to places like Payway or, uh, you know, or even PF Chang's or some other places you may be able to get some quick stir fry. Just tell them to hold the MSG. <laughs> and just stick with the vegetables. Do not go overboard on the rice. A little bit of brown rice isn't gonna to be too bad. Stay away from the white stuff. Remember, white stuff, that is fake food. Number six, uh, seven thing to do is go to Whole Foods, okay? Go to a place 
where they have healthy lunch options and get almost anything on the menu there, but go to Whole Foods or a place like Jason's Deli, that's another good option. Step number eight, uh, what you can do is do something like an apple and almond butter. Okay, almond butter, cashew butter, different nut butters, those are great options when it comes to eating a healthy lunch. And last but not least, I th I'm sorry, number nine here is going to be uh, do leftovers. Okay, so if you had something the night before that was healthy, hey, make extra. You know, something I used to do, actually every time I cook food, I cook a double portion. That way I have some to bring with me the next day um, to, to work or, or wherever I may be going or send it to your, with your kids. And last thing, you can do like a turkey burger. Do a grass-fed beef or a turkey burger. Pack that for lunch. Maybe bring it with a sweet potato and some sliced veggies. Another great option. If you want some more ideas, you can look at my 25 tips on what to uh, actually pack for your kids at school. You can check out the cooking videos on the site. We've got all sorts of resources for you guys to eat healthy lunches. But remember, read food labels. So again, when you're thinking about sending the Lunchables with your kids to school, don't do it. Again, brown bag it, do some healthier options. You're, it's gonna be a much better option when it comes to your health and your kids' long-term health. And so that's my piece on, school, on, on, on healthy lunch ideas. Now, what I'd like to do is just answer some of your questions on Facebook. And one of the questions I got here uh, recently from Summer, she asked on Facebook, why is almond butter better than peanut butter? And this is a great question. I get questions about peanut, uh, peanut butter all the time and peanuts, but just so everyone realizes, and you may already be aware of this, peanuts are very, very allergenic. So there's a lot of people today who have allergies to peanuts. Actually, a lot of schools don't allow kids to bring peanuts into schools because it's like bombs are going off. So many kids are allergic to peanuts. And you also look at actually even I saw something recently where Delta was looking at banning peanuts and start doing bagged cashews and almonds instead because so many people are allergic. Now here is why so many people are allergic to peanuts. When, you, when people grow peanuts, it's very close to the ground and it's very moist. And what happens is almost all peanuts contain mold. So most people aren't necessarily allergic to peanuts, they're allergic to mold. And so there's a type of a peanut you can buy if you still wanna do something like a peanut butter that is not gonna have the mold in it and they're called Valencia peanuts. And Valen you can get Valencia peanuts or Valencia peanut butter at most health food stores. And you're gonna find that again in the organic section. But Valencia peanuts are actually grown hanging in a tree, so they're not gonna be close to the ground, they're not gonna contain all the mold. And also another thing is, the peanuts are also higher in omega-6 fats. They're not gonna have as many of the omega-3 fats or omega-9 fats, which we really need. Most people have way too many omega-6s, which causes inflammation in your body. And so here's what you can do. Almond butter is good because it has the omega-9 fats. Walnuts are great because they have those good omega-3 fats. So you're better off switching to another type of nut rather than a peanut to get those healthy omega-3s and the healthy omega-9 fats. Hey, great question, Summer. Thanks so much for your question on Facebook. If you've got a question for me, remember, go onto my Facebook fan page. Just look up Dr. Josh Axe or, or go to the link on draxe.com. We've got a whole health community online. And also, hey, once you, once you uh, watch this video, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook, tweet it out there, send it to a friend. You know, if you know some friends who are not eating healthy lunch, hey, make sure you spread the message. You know, we're working on transforming the world together when it comes to health. So thanks for tuning in this week. I'll be back next week. Remember, transform your health this week.